तो बाई डोर करूँ तो
morning to one and all present here. It is my pleasure to welcome you all to the much-awaited third Northeast Games. Hope you will have an amazing time. To kickstart today's inaugural program, I call upon Mr. Roko Kiri, President Nagaland Sibak Taku Association for the welcome address. Good morning, everyone. Honorable guests, Sri Ketosito Sekose, Director, UG Social Sport, Government of Nagaland, Chief the Mission, the Man of God, Mr. Yogotol Kiki, Pastor and the President of Chakrama Baptist Church Council. Participants of this program, our tournament director, Sri Upendra Ji, technical officials, media friends, invitees, our advisor, Sri Dunsan Ayer, esteemed players, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great honor for me to Welcome you to this inaugural program of Sapatapur Game in the third edition of Northeast Game 2024 in Chumokedima, Nagaland. Sapatapur Game came to India during the early part of 80s and it was first demonstrated public in Asia 82 at Delhi. It was introduced in Nagaland during the 90s. In a brief history of Sapatakro journey in Nagaland, we are so grateful to our Honorable Chief Minister, Sri Nipi Ryo, who is also the President of Nagaland Olympic Association, and the Department of Youth Resources and Sport for motivating, guiding, and giving the financial support in promoting the game of Sapatapro in Nagaland and beyond. Nagaland is a land of festivals, as we all know, but Nagaland is also a land of villages. We have 1,280 government-recognized villages in Nagaland. Every village is independent, free and in perfect harmony. We also have few towns in the state where Chumogidima and Dimapur are the twin commercial town of the state. And to this beautiful place, once again, I warmly welcome you to this program. Thank you. Moving on to our next program, I give time to Pastor Yohot Sol Kiki, Bira Zoma Baptist Church and President Chakrama Baptist Church Council for Invoking God's Grace. And also, I on behalf of Chakrama Baptist Church Council and Bira Zoma Baptist Church, would like to welcome each and every one in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As the program committee has been given me the opportunity to have a prayer. Before I go into my prayer, I'd like to read out a passage of Bible verses from James chapter 4, verse 10. Humble yourself before the Lord. And he will lift you up. Let us pray. O oh God, the Creator of heavens and earth, O oh Lord Jehovah, I thank you for bringing me here to pray for this tournament, inaugural function of the third Northeast Games, especially to the Sapata Club team. God, you have chosen this player to be participant 
at this occasion. Lord, to bless our team, coaches, officials. That uh, Nagalang Sapata Grow team has been organized under the leadership of Rocco Kire. Bless them, himself and his colleague. Bless our inaugural guests of Chief inaugural guest, Sir Katosito Sekose, being in the midst of us. Bless him abundantly. Lord, before we begin our program, may your Holy Spirit be our guidance. Help us, each and every one of us, as we are going to begin our game. We commit ourselves into your hand. Let your Holy Spirit be our guidance. Make the players to be under your di discipline as the sportsmanship, as laid by the law and order of the sports. God, you bless the judges, the coaches, team managers, and the officials who are present over here. Lord, we commit ourselves into your hand. Let each and every one to get a blessing from you. You be the Alpha and Omega of our program. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. An interesting fact and a remarkable feat of Mr. Kiki is that he was an athlete who created a landmark record in the field of high jump in Nagaland in the 80s. Let's acknowledge him by giving a round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, I now call on stage Ms. Darini C. Gitan for a special number. And no rise up, her eyes like the day. 
thank you, Ms. Darny, for mesmerizing the gathering with her sweet voice. Now, as a token of appreciation, Nagaland Spectacular Association would like to honor some of the partakers in today's program. First, I have the pleasure to request our inaugural guest, Mr. Ketozito Sekose, Director Youth Resource and Sports Government of Nagaland, to accept a small gift. Association.
Moving on to our next program, I now invite the inaugural guest to address the gathering. Very good morning to everyone. So, how are you feeling, especially our guests from other states? Nungay bro. I, on behalf of the state of Nagaland, once again welcome all of you to our state, the land of festivals. As you all know, Sipak Takro is a game that is very close to the hearts of our people. The president of Nagaland Sipak Takro Association, my brother Ruko Kire, Pastor Kiki, the vice president of Sepaktago Federation of India and his colleague, the officials of Sepaktago led by the tournament director of Indra, the officials from the Youth Resource Department, Government of Nagaland, led by my assistant director, who is also the deputy CDM for the state. the coaches, managers, the CDMs of various states, participants, athletes, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I bring greetings to all of you and I'm very grateful to the Sipak Takro Association for inviting me to this inaugural program. I would have wished that we had someone of a higher stature. However, in view of the model code of conduct being in place, we are not able to do so. First of all, I would like to thank God for this time. And I also thank the government of Nagaland, the Northeast Olympic Association, and the Sepak Takro Association for organizing this wonderful game of Sepak Takro in our state. Sipak Takro, as you all know, is a fairly new game, particularly in India. Though in Manipur, it is, I think it was played even in the earlier times. I learned how to play Sipak Takro in the year 1988 and 89. Probably because I was there in Imphal. So, I think one of our Indian coach, who is a Mete, they were the ones who came and taught us when we were studying. It is good to see that the states have been picking up. As far as Nagaland is concerned, we have uh, been conducting Catch Them Young tournaments in Sipak Takro. And uh, from this year onwards, for the next five years, we have decided to conduct Sepak Takro Kesh Dem Yang in the state. So it will be for five consecutive years and we will see whether any result comes out of that. But with officials like Mr. Ruko Kire, Mr. Hol Shie, and all the coaches of our state, I'm sure Nagaland State can become a powerhouse in Sepak Takro too. Yesterday our Honorable Chief Minister has already addressed all of you and then he has mentioned that the North East is a powerhouse of sports. And that is because of athletes like all of you. Recently, during the Asian Games, I had the honor to be able to visit the Sipak Takro Indian team at Delhi, at the uh, Sai Center. And it was a big, a proud moment for me to see that the men's team was captained by none other than a person from our Nordis, one Miti guy. Then the women's team also was captained by our Nordis, that also from Manipur. It's, it's a big pride for us, especially when we go and visit. And we are thankful to the Sipak Takro Federation of India for enabling our youths to be able to take part at such high level tournaments. We hope that Sipak Takro will become an Olympic even one day. And when that day comes, I'm sure we'll be able to see 
a lot of you being a part of the Indian contingent, making our country proud. I wish the tournament all the best. I wish the Nordic Games all the best. And I wish the best team to win and the best athletes to perform in their most uh, possible optimum way. All the best. God bless you. Be safe. Thank you so much, sir, for your inspiring speech. Now, I request our esteemed inaugural guest to declare the third and his Faktakro Games Open, followed by introduction of the players. Sorry, I think I forgot one something. I declare the third Northeast Games Sipaktakro Discipline Open. Good morning, friends and players. We have three players from Indian team who got bronze medal in last Asian game. So we give a round of applause for them. So they are our star. They are bring glory to our country, India. Thank you very much.
जो भी मिलेगा एक Welcome everyone, a very good morning and we are all set to kick off the Sepakta Pro event in uh, the third Northeast Games. The opening clash is going to be between uh, two juggernauts. Uh, this area, this sport, Manipur taking on Mizoram. And uh, getting uh, on your frame in the signature red and white uh, is Mizoram. And, uh, Attacking on your frame in their signature black and white will be Manipur. Prestigious event, the third edition of it, and uh, it goes without a saying. Both the teams will like to kickstart uh, their campaign with a victory. It's going to be everything but easy for these teams. They will try and focus on. Uh, how they can get the job done and get the job done in time. Tricky is uh, what you can call it. One of the easiest games to play. You've got to be at the peak of your uh, physical agility, flexibility, and most importantly, you've got to be hungry for the best.
मोबाइल पे बोलते रहो और बढ़ाना है And off we go straight away. Starts off uh, moves around there. A little bit of a touch on the net. I think that is exactly what uh, Manipur wanted to point out there. It's going to be Manipur now with the serve. play and completely fails to connect that's another point there for Manipur very feisty start to be honest and the men in black and white they are rolling in a pretty fine manner and that's an incredible block does well there however it looks like there was a bit of touch on the net and Mizoram not really off to a fine start here. Yeah, they will be hoping to get things on the right track. A serve from Manipur. It's a second touch. Third one. Slided into the box of uh, Mizoram. Here comes the spike. And the spike will work wonders. That's the fourth point for Manipur. At the moment, they are rolling and rocking here. They are uh, cruising. Change of serve after the fourth point. It's well kept. And an incredible effort. That is certainly a roll spike. And a roll spike uh, executed to perfection. But the question is, did it land inside the box? We'll have to wait and watch. For a moment it felt like it has touched a Mizoram player on the way. We are not particularly sure. Yeah, that certainly has crossed the box. I reckon Mizoram possibly can now get that point, get that opening point that they were looking for. That's also their serve as well. 4-1, Mizoram has got a job to do. Another incredible block there. That is special. That was certainly special from Mizoram. The number 10. Uh, ensuring the fact that he got himself uh, the well-earned block. And the second point for his team there. And Mizoram claw their way back. The time shall reveal it all. Manipur at the moment. They have the lead there. But again in the game of Sepak the Croc. It can change at any point in time. And that certainly was not well taken. That is another point for Manipur. Now lead 5-1. Not really the start that they were expecting. For Mizoram in fact. Here comes the spike and the block. However the block has made the ball go out of the means the score still remains 5-1 a shuffle in the positions there and this time another point here for Mizoram an unforced error from Manipur smashing that into the net which means another serve here for Mizoram and another opportunity for them to go ahead Nice little shuffle and that is authority being stamped by Manipur. They'll head away now. 6-2. Incredible spike. Block attempted. But then wasn't successful there. Mizoram not really in the position that they were expecting themselves to be in. Well, it looks like there was a bit of touch in the net. We'll have to wait and watch. Was that clean? Will that be another additional point here for Manipur? It was for Mizoram. It took a touch of the net. Oh, that's incredible. That has been hammered there. And Manipur, they will be elated with that. That was a spike. 
that screamed elegance and brilliance rocketed all together inside the box. And another point here for Manipur. They keep on accumulating those. They keep on leading the charge. That is sensational stuff to be honest. And Mizoram fight back. Looks like a bit of foul there. I'll have to wait and watch. That has gone out of play. It just doesn't work out for Mizoram at the moment. They are completely at sea and they would expect someone to get them an anchor. Manipur on the contrary are right on top of the game. And what a block! What an incredible block! He was going for the header there. Throwing himself in the air, almost pulling off uh, what can go down in history is one of the finest moves. Uh, Manipur is certainly turning on the heat there. Another block attempted. And it looks like it is going to be another point here for Manipur. They are right on top here. And I repeat, uh, nothing. Almost nothing can keep them off. It's a Pakta Crow. It's a game where uh, it can change drastically even before you know. Well, down to the nets. If uh, Manipur isn't overwhelmingly strong enough, isn't overwhelmingly cruising at this point in time, they have. Uh, a hand of assistance as well from Mizoram. Well, another point. Manipur back to their sensational best, to back to their glittering best. What a terrific start here. Talk about uh, finishing things in a flash. And it looks like uh, Mizoram has been completely overwhelmed. Manipur, what a display. They're always there, they're always threatening to take the game away. And as a result, Mizoram has been completely outplayed in the first set. Well, can they claw their way back in the second? We'll have to wait for it. This has so far been a contest dominated by the lads from Manipur, and they keep on. Uh, Amplifying the heat, amplifying the intensity, and most importantly, they will be looking forward to finish things off in a flash. Zoom here, and uh, Mizoram will need a lot more than just uh, belief and conviction. They will need a bit more execution, to be honest. Manipur, on the contrary, they can continue with what they are doing. They will go forward with an unchanged lineup. The first set has gone to Manipur. They wrap up the second as well. Well, starts off with the faults of their own. Hands over a point to Mizoram. Is that the dawn? There's something new in this picture. We'll see. Bit of a discussion going on there between uh, players and the arbitrator there, possibly trying to figure out a few positioning uh, maneuvers looks like whatever this put uh, 
was there in the center that has been resolved. Unfortunately, whatever advantage that Mizoram may have garnered on that first serve after a foul from, or rather a fault from Manipur, they reciprocated the favor. It's one all in the second set. And unfortunately, both the teams, they are stuck here. They simply cannot serve. And all they can find here in the serve is the net. And I hand it over to Mizoram. I think uh, they are capable of doing better. And the first successful serve, is it? No, it looks like it's gone out. We are still to witness the first serve of the second set. This is executed to perfection. Both the teams are squared off at two all. Who eventually gets it right. And another point handed over. Manipur still fails to land it inside the box. And this time it's a point for Mizoram. And now the lead 3-2. Do we see the first proper serve? Yes, we do. And that will possibly bloom a smile on the faces of Manipur. 3-2 is where we stand here. In fact, it's 3-all. Mizoram well. Trying to keep things in play. And a spike attempted. We'll have to wait and watch whether they go over the net. That's a serve. Nicely kept in. That is a successful spike. That has been slammed. Most likely it was a roll spike there from the number 4 of Manipur. We'll have to wait and watch. Leaped himself up, positioned himself to perfection, and bam, smokes it. Onto the coat. Once again, onto the net there. Not the kind of serve that uh, Manipur was looking forward to. This has been a set that has been marked with a few checkered serves. Ball in. Another incredible spike there. That's how good Manipur is. Once again, exactly where he was supposed to be. And nailed to perfection. Not much that Mizoram could have actually done about it. The way Manipur uh, are dealing right now with proceedings. It looks like they are well en route to what will be a flashy victory. However, Mizoram fights back keeps himself afloat. He was in position, not really a controlled header from the players of Manipur. The ball trickles out of control. This set, however, Mizoram is actually fighting back. It hasn't been a docile resignation. However, in cases of spikes like that, there isn't much that you can do. No matter how hard you try, no matter where you are, it's simply a formality. The existence out there on the court didn't have much. And once again, uh, Manipur stamping their authority. And that uh, took a hit of the net. They'll give a point away to Mizoram. And also the serve. Here comes the spike. Finally, the longest, and that possibly has gone out of the box. He did well there with that uh, spike, with that wheelhouse kick, rather. However, did it actually remain inside the box? You have to land the ball inside the box to notch up that point. However, on that occasion, I'm going to be. Serve quickly, get in play. 
one and two they're covered exquisite block unfortunately it looks like despite the block he lost control and that landed in his own half handing over another point here to Mizoram you're ruling the roost oh that's glory that is absolute glory there from Manipur look at how comfortably they blocked that one and they keep on calling the shots they keep on dictating the proceedings keeps the ball in play and another brilliant spike another point in the tally of Manipur and they are the red hot favorites to walk away with this match in this set itself Fortunately, couldn't control the serve. Had a hit of the net. Flew out of control. Mizoram still clawing their way in. Trying to keep things afloat as hard as they can. Sets it up. Block attempted. He's managed to keep the ball out. That ball has gone out of court, so that's a well orchestrated block but the serve will remain with none other than Manipur and that's an incredible block there that's a point as well for Mizoram you've got to give them credit that's how that's how you fight back that's how you keep things afloat he read, he anticipated that spike early enough and look how quickly he positioned himself and once committed he almost set up a trap where the opposition almost walked into it 11-10 is where we are at right now once again onto the net Mizoram tries to keep it afloat, however, that has gone out, in another point it's all square and fair here, 11-11, still a long way to go, there comes the spike, well defended, once again, both the teams really duking it out, both the teams really keeping things fast and furious and this has been a great start undoubtedly a great start at the serve here for Manipur the second set hasn't exactly been what they expected the first set was a walk in the park for them Manipur still has a 14-11 cushion and it looks like it's going to be another point to the tally Took a touch at the player and it went out behind the line. Should ideally be 15 11 in favor of Manipur. This has been a tough call. This has been a tough day out so far for Mizoram. They have tried hard though. And uh, another point in favor of Manipur is Mizoram overpowers the shot, sends it crashing out of the box. It looks like uh, Manipur, they have backed the second set. This is a contest of 15 points each, rather of 11 points each instead of the regulated 21. And as a result, the first match that has gone in favor of uh, Manipur.
off with the second game here. And uh, Mizoram this time has started off with a point. really the cleanest of serves. Get the end of the second touch. Could have been better. Goes out of play. First game was certainly dominated altogether by Manipur. The second though, Mizoram has started off on a pretty feisty note. And once again, celebrations begin here. Mizoram is certainly the, are certainly the favourites. Spike attempted, is it? Uh, it looks like it's a block. As things stand, Manipur is trailing in this contest. advantage 6-3 that was poor that was very poor that was low percentage effort there from the Mizoram player allowing uh, Manipur to bag another point for themselves so in favor of Manipur uh, apologies in favor of Mizoram a very poorly orchestrated serve into the net. Once again, Manipur regaining control of the proceedings. It was kind of an even Steven start. And now Manipur. And they keep on piling up the points. It looks like exhaustion is creeping in. For Mizoram and Manipur are coming in hot and furious. Continue to impress, they continue to deliver the payload here. And this time, uh, Mizoram will manage a point for themselves. They will go forward 7 6. And Manipur rally themselves back and they restore parity. And then I'm the way to safety. 7-7 Both the teams are putting in their 100% effort and this has been a pretty tight contest at the moment Well that certainly was inside the box misjudgment there from the Manipur players It's going to be 8-7 in favour of Mizoram They were not really following the ball well within the reach. I 
It's attempted and it looks like he's overpowered that one, is it? I'll have to wait and watch, but possibly it can also have gone out of the bounds after taking a deflection. There was a block coming out from the player of Manipur. Not exactly sure did that deflection take shape or not. But it looks like it has. As he has advantage and Manipur will flow their way back in 8 9. This is a cut and run encounter. A battle that's unfurling at breakneck pace here. Another a serve at the moment for Manipur. And Manipur has almost handed over a point there to Mizoram. A two point cushion and possibly. A set point as well. Can Mizoram back this? Yes. And it looks like Manipur will fight their way back. It's 10 9 once again. The set point will remain, however. Unless Manipur is able to restore parity and push for that 15 point mark. Kept in play, spike attempted, spike successfully executed. Mizoram will walk away with the set, is it? I have the cushion 11, Danny. Inside the box, that's 12. That is uh, extraordinary display of caliber here from uh, Mizoram. And they now secure three point lead. And this time, Manipur will throw their way back, add another point to the tally, makes it 12 10. This battle, this has been a lot more intriguing, a lot more fascinating and captivating from both the sides. Spike and Spike to perfection. Manipur comes one more point closer. It's 12 11 right now. Turning out into a close and a fierce contest. And just when it felt like Manipur, they're doing well. All they manage is to serve into the clattering nets. Another point in favor of Mizoram. 13 11. Attempted another block there. We'll have to wait and watch. Where did that go? The scorecard still remains 13 11 in favor of Mizoram. In fact, now it goes up to 14, so that was well within their half. And that's another brilliant spike. Excellent. Almost hammered down there onto the court, 15-11. Now Mizoram, six points away from clinching the set. In fact, they have bagged the set, apologies. break there, a big discussion is going on amongst the coaches. That is uh, the end of the set. It's 15-11. Mizoram has walked away with the set.
Ajaram has clinched the first set. Manipur clinched the first game. And uh, kind of Stewart serve there. That will allow Manipur to have a point in their tally. And they fight their way back after previous dominion from Mizoram. That's a nice bit of uh, keep up there, desperation creeping in. But then the header, it almost came down to him as a header. By the time he could actually try and leap it over the net, it was too late. He was extremely close to the net, so it was never going to be, never going to be easy, in fact. We go another point uh, this time it's in favor of Mizoram. So done well enough. Manipur couldn't really keep it in keep it in the air, keep it afloat. So in favor of Manipur. And Manipur restore parity in the set. A well, brilliant block there. But the question is, it looks like the block. May have landed in their own half, is it? Manipur will have to wait and watch. They'll have to take the decision. It was very close to that uh, halfway mark. So possibly, there is a high possibility that uh, the block may have landed in their own half. In that case, uh, Mizoram will walk away with the point. And the point has been granted to Manipur. Out. The block was successfully executed. And when Mizoram, they are incidented by that. They kick start proceedings once again. They want to just uh, pick themselves up. It's, it's all right. Let's go. Let's go again to the next point. It's a long race. And that has been headed out. So a point in Sally of Mizoram. That is why they look so confident. Time. Just upping the ante, just raising the stakes here. Manipur maybe leading, but Mizoram they are not going to give in that easy. Men in red and white. Second half. Fight attempted, fight successfully executed. Mizoram are right back. It's all fair and square here. Three all. Are fighting their way. It's going to be a change of sides. The part of things can. This set has been pretty intense as well. A bit of a breather there. Themselves, is getting themselves back. But this contest, it can be relentless at times. This contest, it can really force you to the corner. It can force you right onto the wall. You have to be at the peak of their fitness, and the demands are pretty gruesome, to be honest. And again, a loud shout out to these players who fights with all their heart and soul, who fights with uh, their eyes on the grand prize. And we have the dignitaries out there as well, watching very closely. This is the third edition of the Northeast Games. And uh, we have started off today after a grand opening yesterday evening. Mizoram and Manipur right now locked at a three-all impasse. They will continue with an unchanged side. In fact, it is number uh, 
14 goals we need to do some of the next. And off we start from where it all uh, finished off. Free all. So I've taken that squad from Mizoram. They were uh, too lethargic to be honest in that occasion. That first serve, the, the defense of the serve was pretty much all right. But then the second touch, that was a letdown. An absolute letdown in fact. Serve in favor of Mizoram. And they have served it outside. It's a bit too easy there for Manipur right now. Two points after the break. They were clinched pretty easily and that's because uh, low percentage efforts coming in all the way from the men in red and white. And that's an incredible spike. Look at the celebrations, we'll tell you a lot. Means everything to mess around here. serve in their favor. And this time Mizoram just couldn't get the serve well in place, allowing Manipur to once again clinch a two-point cushion and keep their lead intact. Unfortunately, they couldn't just capitalize on that. The serve goes horribly wrong, smashes it into the net, and it's 6 5. It's and off we go, tries to keep that in play. Second touch. Oh, what an incredible spike that is! Manipur at the moment, they are relentless and they want to keep on cruising. Terrific stuff there. <laughs> there comes the serve, the spike, that spike, that serve goes horribly wrong again. 7 6. This is a tightly knit affair and it continues up. changing momentum one after the other. And that would go out. We'll have to wait and watch. Did that take a deflection along the way? Can't particularly sure though. Manipur now fighting their way. Well, somebody is appealing. Must have uh, had a touch on the net. And Mizoram, they have backed the point here. It's 8 7. Once again, into the net. Not the kind of momentum that you would expect. 9-7 at the moment. How far can Manipur go? That's a clean serve. Spike, block and of course a point for Manipur. One step closer to fighting their way back in this match. Incredible stuff there. And a long way to go for Mizoram. And they make it happen. They will stay afloat, they will keep on fighting. 10 8 in favor of Mizoram. Where are we headed? We still have a late twist in this uh, set. It has happened so many times. Captain Spike and Spike executed once again. 10 9. What a brilliant work, it looks like we are once again heading to the 15 point mark, that's how you fight back. Mizoram leading the charge, two back to back points and a serve for them. That looks like it has been blocked 
It's dead on once again. Should I really be dead on? It is. Uh, what a terrific fight back. They were three points down at one point in time, but they rallied back to their senses and kept hopes of fighting their way back in this game. Incredible stuff. First start, and that's another clean fight. They were training at one point in time, and now Mizram from 10 7 down, they are 11 10 up. What a tremendous watershed in this game. As the men in red and white announce their return to the contest. Didn't really start the set well enough, but the way they are coming back now, that again is a low person to Jetson. Possibly coming to, to, to a bit too early. Didn't really get the full blast of his power behind the ball. And as a result, ended up smashing it onto the net and handing over the serve to Manipur. In. Block attempted, ball stays afloat, a bit of uh, fury there in the Manipur dugout. Mizoram has clinched another point there. They were hoping that it was going to be alright, but then a bit of confusion, a bit of uh, preeminent block is what we can call it. Rather preemptive block attempted, and that block went horribly wrong. This is a chance for Mizram to try. And it looks like they will like to push it. They will like to take it down the wire. Manipur back in the game. 12 all here. Yeah. Into the nets. I reckon that had a bit of touch there. And Mizram couldn't keep it under control. So a point in favour of Manipur, is it? We'll have to wait and watch. That was a point in favour of Manipur, in fact. And that's an incredible bit of work there. Brilliantly done by Mizoram. A full roll spike. Kind of a half volley as well. A mid-air half volley is what you can say. And the Caesar kick, to be precise. And the number eight, the killer for Mizoram does the job. What an incredible set has this been. Spike attempted. As the spike landed where it should have. It looks like it has. It has taken a deflection of a preemptive block that was anticipated by Manipur. This can be the match point. So executed. Keeps it in play, but Mizoram, they are walking away with this match. Excellent execution there, 15-13. Not much that Manipur could have done. In fact, this is not done yet, actually. And another bicycle kick, is it?
get back once again. Maybe the third touch in play and he's done well enough. He kept it in, didn't try anything fancy but couldn't control that one. You have to put it over the net. Went rolling on the carpet. and that has been overpowered is it or did it take a deflection along the way I think they are appealing that there was a bit of deflection Mizoram possibly can sense something and now in favor of Manipur. And Mizoram certainly not the happy signs of the two now. Somewhat frustrated, somewhat disappointed. and I reckon that has been overpowered no touch on the way and I think once again uh, Mizoram they are protesting here Forward.
this event of player is for the next matches in pool number one and pool number two. Managers of Nagale, Nagale team manager, this is for the player is for the next match in pool number one. Manager of Nagale, Nagale team manager, please submit a player list for the next match in Group number one. Can we restart proceedings? by Manipur and Mizoram the way they are fighting their way back in this contest that has been really impressive looks like another change number 13 comes back in the mix Spike and does well, does very well there. Manipur keeps on fighting hard enough. He does the job good enough as well. Another point goes in favour of Manipur. And the Mizoram continues to battle at the moment. They have one match each. Manipur won the second. Manipur won the first game easy enough. Mizoram won the second. Now where do we go? Into the net. Three all here in favour of Mizoram. That was an absolute smash there, Manipur. They will secure another point. 4 3 now in favor of Back and White. Mizoram, once again, they have fought their way back pretty much. By cycle kick attempted, but all they can manage is to smash it back into their own net. much you can talk about in this occasion. That's the second pass. And that has been overpowered, that has been smashed out of the box by four. Once again, Mizoram to fight their way back. It's five all.
And then again, on to the next set. Advantage Mizoram 6 5. Incredible block attempted. Was it on the other side of the net? Point has gone in favor of Mizoram. This thing stands. It's uh, eight five right now. Actually, Captain wanted to use uh, his shoulder to full effect. The idea was right, but you have to be careful when you are making a call like that. But by chance, slides down to even an inch of your hand, you will be handing over the point to your opposition. On to the next there, Manipur will have a chance of fighting back 7-8. An exciting contest once again. Final Rego in progress. Spike attempted, but shoots it out. Shoots it out of the box. Which means it's going to be eight all here in favor of Manipur. Spike and a block and a point in favor of Manipur. Given the fact that if you're blocking, that ball has to go into Manipur's half, but the block ended up the ball going in their own half. So Manipur will keep the lead intact. Is this the cue for them to try and secure the set? So oh, that was incredible. It's 9 9 once again. Terrific work there. No questions asked. And Mizoram after uh, conceding that first set pretty early. The way they are fighting things like that is absolutely incredible. Spike and block as well. Block into their own half, is it? Looks like Manipur possibly will be going. Yes, they go away with the point. 10 9 right now. Tempo has slowed down to certain. That's an incredible display of Britain Gumption. That was cheeky. And this time, Mizoram will fight back. It's 10 all here. On 15 points of set here. Let's start. And that will be a point here for Mizoram. Advantage Mizoram. Now, can they take it all the way from here? They are able to do so. I think Manipur will be absolutely gutted. Well, of course, they'll have another set to play. Spike 12-10 now Mizoram has the cushion and they go on from here can they go on to make it count can they go on to take their team home dramatic turn of the tide like it's going to 
be a breed on there. to be honest with the team spike king all using back once again up and rolling and here we go another incredible spike there and a very well blocked from Mizoram point in their tally makes it 12 Powered that point going in Manipur's way. Something along the way. Two more points. possibly be closing this in favor of Mizoram once again. In the side. Around. They have been granted second set, and now it all boils down to this final. It all boils down to where we head from here.
to absorb that reservoir power. Brilliant spike there. We have to wait and watch. In fact, it looks like it's worn out. Two zero in favor of Manipur. Did well this time, put up a decent block. Okay, started, must have crossed the line. We have to wait and watch. has a 3-1 cushion. So, he didn't play. Manipur adds another point to the tally, makes it 5 1 now. Oh. It comes to serve overpowered. But ideally, B 6 1. Got it. It looks like he has 7 1 at the moment for Manipur. They are happy. And why not? No. They are getting the job done. The That's what matters. You get your job done and you are well in content. For second base, Assam and Manipur. Assam and Manipur. Overpower, 7 2. That is incredible. A bit of uh, ST action. Looks like the point has been handed over to Manipur there. Manipur keeps on uh, building the momentum. They keep on building the points and slowly and steadily. And they're all new. But what should ideally be easy picking of this set that's on the line is it that's what they're asking if it's on the line then definitely miss around 
get the second point. Yes, so that was on the line. Well spotted. Again, a quick discussion. Another spike, another smashing spike. They are saying that there was a deflection. But was there actually that was a deflection? 8-3 now. Loud money for that point, almost gifted them on a silver platter. Nine feet after getting two back to back points, he was uh, losing his shape, he was pretty much inclined towards the back. It's not pretty really easy to keep your balance and to keep the ball in control either. wanted to go forward with the spike the question in fact the point has gone to Manipur it's 10-3 it must have taken a hit on the net but that was clearly over that top line the ball rocketed down there allowing Manipur to come closer to back the set and the man Very difficult, and that should be that 11 points here for Manipur. They are breathing fire right now. Landed out of the box, 11-5. A bit of help there going uh, Mizoram's way as well. Not the cleanest of serves there. Manipur, they will have to rally themselves back. They will have to keep themselves calm and composed. Clean serve, keep them in play, second touch. And brilliant block, but into their own half. Manipur will walk away with the point in this occasion. Another point in favour of Mizoram, brilliantly done, made Manipur stretch and successfully clinched that one.
I mean, for all my pleasing, now it's in favor of Mizoram. Mizoram doing well to fight their way back. Keeps it in play, keeps it in play, brilliantly. Again, the box remains, and that has been shot out. Manipur, they will be delighted. 13 7 now. There, 15 points now in favor of Mizra of Manipur. Apologies, a quick break and a quick breather. We are back again, and this time uh, Mizoram starts off with the lead. Can they make it count even in the last match? It was Manipur. They walked away with the bragging rights. Knocks it on the doors. Incredible uh, spike attempted. An incredible block. These young boys uh, showcasing their flair, their pomp and vigor. within that second touch very well done there and that has been phenomenal first point for Manipur and it comes in thumping passion thumping passion in fact in this round
back once again. It's three all as things stand. Manipur and Mizoram, they're fighting it out. They're fighting it out in pretty decent manner. They're going all guns blazing. And they're rocking and rolling the, this contest as well. Manipur now has a very slender lead to protect. It's 4-3 in their favor. it up incredible spike again terrific work there Manipur they will clinch the lead in this occasion 7-3 closing in on that finish line again Well kept, but then eventually it will roll over. Manipur bags another point to their tally. block there. Brilliant one by Mizoram. They get the point and they deserve it. The spike was already on. The anticipation is top notch. Try to keep that in. Another point to Mizoram once again. Fighting their way back. That's how they do it. That's how they showcase their talent and flair. Absolutely impeccable. It's going to be a break here.
start proceedings. Yeah. Wanted to keep it in play, but then Manipur, they will have the lead again. That's a ninth point for them in the set. Once again, it looks like uh, Mizoram, they have executed that to perfection. That's what they are saying. And yes, they have. Another point is that tally. Sensational stuff here. Bit of a collision there and once again Mizoram they have found the way back that is exactly what they have been doing they have uh, been pushed back but they have always managed to retaliate they've always managed to fight back that's what happened into the net there Points in favor of Manipur. You're Tenny. And Manipur eventually bagged this. Bagged the match as well. 
Looks like they have. It's 11 8 now. Time though, Manipur will have the upper hand. Fourteen eight in their favor. And that is being headed with power. That means Manipur back to 15 points. And it looks like uh, Manipur will possibly have back this uh, back as well.
16 districts, more than 2,000 sportspersons, 4,000 plus participants, 347 medals. It was indeed the biggest celebration of sport, a celebration of the ability of the young people of Nagala. A successful Nagaland Olympic and Paralympic Games 2022. districts, more than 2,000 sportspersons, 4,000 plus participants, 347 medals. It was indeed the biggest celebration of sport, a celebration of the ability of the young people of Nagala. A successful Nagaland Olympic and Paralympic Games 2022. My name is Shangji. Hi, my name is Zarini Zou. I'm the captain of Women Basketball Woka. We have done extremely well. I am so happy for the players of Pak District and my humble wish is for them to excel even in the days to come. Tawan man expectation gure ki wo bishi bal expect gure na tawan na medals kam bishi juti ki na jo bishi kuch pa jana chahiye. This is my first experience and then ne jabra bishi jani chahiye. My experience here in Nagaland Olympics it was good and I've learned many techniques and all. So hoping for the best in the near near future. Bishi kuch pa jana chahiye. Bishi kuch pa. I participated in the basketball and me and my team have had a lot of experience. To be honest, we got a lot of exposure and it's all thanks to Nagaland Olympics. I'm very thank thankful for the organizer for organizing this uh, very Olympic association. And looking back to the first Nagaland Olympics, in a positive way, much more things have been done again. As a team manager, is I'm so excited with full of new things and hoping for the best even in the days to come. Thank you, Nagaland Olympics Association. Thank, thank you, Nagaland Olympics. Nagaland Olympics, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. In the coming years, to live in the young generation, and let's go to the city. Thank you, Nagaland Olympic Association. Do continue to uplift the sports person of our state. Do continue to render your support 
your love for the upliftment of sports and the sports fraternity of our state. Thank you so much. Nagaland is a contributing member of the Indian Olympic fraternity. Today, the ambition of the Nagaland Olympic Association is to follow the Olympic principles of Sitius, Fortius, Altius. The ambition to run faster, to get stronger, to jump higher. Naga people must come together under the spirit and the platform of sport. Nagaland Olympic Association wants to bring all sections of Nagas to the platform of sport. Let us strengthen the cause of unity and oneness. Let us use sport to celebrate the exuberance, the energy and the vibrancy of Naga youth. guys enjoying yourselves today yes, sir. good so you went to the office of the Olympic Association and you saw how it's functioning what are the facilities there then you went to uh, the Indira Gandhi Stadium you saw the facilities so that's one of the best sports facilities that uh, we have in Nagaland after that you have come you went Chakravolo you knew who she was right so you got to see how archery is played today so you know how tough that was na? how hard it is to pull that bow right and how far the target is so when you actually see it with your eyes you tend to appreciate how hard it is how difficult it is so Chekrovolu was a former world champion a former Olympian and she has won more than 80 national and international medals and she she didn't get to go to good schools like yours she didn't have good facilities like you people roaming around in a nice bus in Kohima. She had to walk kilometers to school. You know, she didn't have money to buy a bow and arrow to train, but she worked hard. She really worked hard. So from that small village in Peg district, she has gone on to represent Nagaland, represent India at the highest levels of international competition. To the extent of representing India in the London Olympics. So her life 
exemplifies the fact that if you work hard you can overcome any challenge if you put in the hard work you will surely achieve your ambition My favorite part of the tour was uh, the, the archery because we got to meet the living legend. The favorite part of the day was when I went to the CN office. I got a very good tour and meeting Abu and knowing all the things about how the government works. He really motivated us in many ways and he told us that uh, nothing is impossible if we try. And I'm very grateful for the Naglen Ombik SGN for giving me this opportunity to take part in for this good trip. I really enjoyed the time when I got to the same office and I got a really good tour of the house. And he said that if we work hard then we don't have to run after success but success will come after us. So that was what really spoke to me today.
Olympic and Paralympic Games 2024, we have more than 6,000 participants comprising of the athletes, officials, technical officials, delegates, para athletes, performers, artists, volunteers.
16 districts, more than 2,000 sportspersons, 4,000 plus participants, 347 medals. It was indeed the biggest celebration of sport, a celebration of the ability of the young people of Nagaland. A successful Nagaland Olympic and Paralympic Games 2022. My name is Xiangjir. Hi, my name is Nzari Nizo. I'm the captain of Women Basketball Woka. We have done extremely well. I am so happy for the players of Pack District and my humble wish is for them to excel even in the days to come. This is my first experience and then my experience here in uh, Nagaland Olympics, it was good and uh, I've learned many techniques and all, so hoping for the best in the near, near future. Along this trip, I'm the officials from the Miligene, but I can't get rid of this experience. I'm not going to be able to get rid of this. I participated in the basketball and me and my team have had a lot of experience. To be honest, we got a lot of exposure and it's all thanks to the Nagaland Olympics. I'm very thank thankful for the organizer for organizing this uh, very Olympic association. And looking back to the first Nagaland Olympics, in a positive way, much more things have been done again. As a team manager, is I am so excited with full of new things and hoping for the best even in the days to come. Thank you, Nagaland Olympics Association. Thank you, Nagaland Olympics. Nagaland Olympics, thank you, thank you. Our old viewers, as in the coming years, to live in our generation, to live in our young generation, to live in our generation. Thank you, Nagaland Olympic Association. Do continue to uplift the sports person of our state. Do you continue to render your support, your love for the upliftment of sports and the sports fraternity of our state. Thank you so much.
Nagaland is a contributing member of the Indian Olympic fraternity. Today, the ambition of the Nagaland Olympic Association is to follow the Olympic principles of Sitius, Fortius, Altius. The ambition to run faster, to get stronger, to jump higher. Naga people must come together under the spirit and the platform of sport. Nagaland Olympic Association want to bring all section of Nagas to the platform of sport. Let us strengthen the cause of unity and oneness. Let us use sport to celebrate the exuberance, the energy and the vibrancy of Naga youth. Are you guys enjoying yourselves today? Yes, sir. Good. So you went to the office of the Olympic Association and you saw how it's functioning, what are the facilities there. Then you went to uh, the Indira Gandhi Stadium, you saw the facilities. So that's one of the best sports facilities that uh, we have in Nagaland. After that, you have come, you went to Chakravolo. You knew who she was, right? So you got to see how archery is played today. So you know how tough that was, na? How hard it is to pull that bow, right? And how far the target is. So when you actually see it with your eyes, you tend to appreciate how hard it is, how difficult it is. So Chekrovolu was a former world champion, a former Olympian, and she has won more than 80 national and international medals. And she she didn't get to go to good schools like yours. She didn't have good facilities like you people roaming around in a nice bus in Kohima. She had to walk kilometers to school. You know, she didn't have money to buy a bow and arrow to train. But she worked hard. She really worked hard. So from that small village in Peg district, she has gone on to represent Nagaland, represent India at the highest levels of international competitions. To the extent of representing India in the London Olympics. So her life exemplifies the fact that if you work hard, you can overcome any challenge. If you put in the hard work, you will surely achieve your ambition.
my favorite part of the tour was uh, the, the archery because we got to meet the living legend. The favorite part of the day was when I went to the CN office. I got a very good tour and meeting Abu and knowing all the things about how the government works. He really motivated us in many ways and he told us that uh, nothing is impossible if we try. And I'm very grateful for the Naglin Ombik SGN for giving me this opportunity to take part in the forest good trip. I really enjoyed the time when I got to the same office and I got a really good tour of the house. And he said that if we work hard then we don't have to run after success but success will come after us. So that was what really spoke to me today.
Olympic and Paralympic Games 2024, we have more than 6,000 participants comprising of the athletes, officials, technical officials, delegates, para athletes, performers, artists, volunteers.
16 districts, more than 2,000 sportspersons, 4,000 plus participants, 347 medals. It was indeed the biggest celebration of sport, a celebration of the ability of the young people of Nagaland. A successful Nagaland Olympic and Paralympic Games 2022. My name is Xiang Ji. Hi, my name is Zarini Zhou. I'm the captain of Women Basketball Woka. We have done extremely well. I am so happy for the players of Pack District and my humble wish is for them to excel even in the days to come. Tan man expectation kure ki wo bichi ball expect kure na tan na medals kam bichi jute ki na chhe to bichi kuch paise na chhe. This is my first experience and then nee bra bichi jani chhe. My experience here in uh, Nagaland Olympics it was good and uh, I've learned many techniques and all so hoping for the best in the near near future. Bichi kuch paise bichi kuch bra I participated in the basketball and me and my team have had a lot of experience. To be honest, we got a lot of exposure and it's all thanks to Nagaland Olympics. I'm very thank thankful for the organizer for organizing this uh, very Olympic association. And looking back to the first Nagaland Olympics, in a positive way, much more things have been done again. As a team manager, is I'm so excited with full of new things and hoping for the best even in the days to come. Thank you, Nagaland Olympics Association. Thank, thank you, Nagaland Olympics. Nagaland Olympics, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. In, a, in the coming years, to live in the young generation, and let's go to the Thank you, Nagaland Olympic Association. Do continue to uplift the sports person of our state. Do continue to render your support, your love for the upliftment of sports and the sports fraternity of our state. Thank you so much.
Nagaland is a contributing member of the Indian Olympic fraternity. Today, the ambition of the Nagaland Olympic Association is to follow the Olympic principles of Sitius, Fortius, Altius. The ambition to run faster, to get stronger, to jump higher. Naga people must come together under the spirit and the platform of sport. Nagaran Olympic Association want to bring all section of Nagas to the platform of sport. Let us strengthen the cause of unity and oneness. Let us use sport to celebrate the exuberance, the energy and the vibrancy of Naga youth. Are you guys enjoying yourselves today? Yes. Good. So you went to the office of the Olympic Association and you saw how it's functioning, what are the facilities there. Then you went to uh, the Indira Gandhi Stadium, you saw the facilities. So that's one of the best sports facilities that uh, we have in Nagaland. After that, you have come, you went to Chakravolo. You knew who she was, right? So you got to see how archery is played today. So you know how tough that was, na? How hard it is to pull that bow, right? And how far the target is. So when you actually see it with your eyes, you tend to appreciate how hard it is, how difficult it is. So, Chekrovolu was a former world champion, a former Olympian, and she has won more than 80 national and international medals. And she, she didn't get to go to good schools like yours. She didn't have good facilities like you people roaming around in a nice bus in Kohima. She had to walk kilometers to school. You know, she didn't have money to buy a bow and arrow to train, but she worked hard. She really worked hard. So from that small village in Peg district, she has gone on to represent Nagaland, represent India at the highest levels of international competition. To the extent of representing India in the London Olympics. So her life exemplifies the fact that if you work hard, you can overcome any challenge. If you put in the hard work, you will surely achieve your ambition.
my favorite part of the tour was uh, the, the archery because we got to meet the living legend. The favorite part of the day was when I went to the CM office. I got a very good tour and meeting Abu and knowing all the things about how the government works. He really motivated us in many ways and he told us that uh, nothing is impossible if we try. And I'm very grateful for the Naglen Ombik SGN for giving me this opportunity to take part in for the school trip. I really enjoyed the time when I got to the same office and I got a really good tour of the house. And he said that if we work hard then we don't have to run after success but success will come after us. So that was what really spoke to me today.
skor kita dan juga gelar terakhir. I'm bringing the gold medal for our land is Nekitule Pelho. He jumped a distance of 7.09 meters in the 1500 meters. Nian Sai Ti with a timing of 5 minutes 18.03 seconds.
16 districts, more than 2,000 sportspersons, 4,000 plus participants, 347 medals. It was indeed the biggest celebration of sport, a celebration of the ability of the young people of Nagaland. A successful Nagaland Olympic and Paralympic Games 2022. My name is Xiangji. Hi, my name is Nzari Nizo. I'm the captain of Women Basketball Woka. We have done extremely well. I am so happy for the players of Pack District and my humble wish is for them to excel even in the days to come. This is my first experience and then my experience here in uh, Nagaland Olympics, it was good and uh, I've learned many techniques and all, so hoping for the best in the near, near future. Alak district and Newton officials can be millionaire, but how can you create this experience with this? Nakalumbit, Paul Dykeshet is standing. Sadi can be Mambara Lok Paisha, Arasar can be Mambara Tukkash. I participated in the basketball and me and my team have had a lot of experience. To be honest, we got a lot of exposure and it's all thanks to Nagaran Olympics. I'm very thank thankful for the organizer for organizing this uh, very Olympic association. And looking back to the first Nagaland Olympics, in a positive way, much more things have been done again. As a team manager, is I'm so excited with full of new things and hoping for the best even in the days to come. Thank you, Nagaland Olympics Association. Thank you, Nagaland Olympics. Nagaland Olympics, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In the in the coming years, to live in the world, we must be able to live. We have young generation, and we must be able to live. Thank you, Nagaland Olympic Association. Do continue to uplift the sports person of our state. Do continue to render your support, your love for the upliftment of sports and the sports fraternity of our state. Thank you so much.
Nagaland is a contributing member of the Indian Olympic fraternity. Today, the ambition of the Nagaland Olympic Association is to follow the Olympic principles of Sitius, Fortius, Altius. The ambition to run faster, to get stronger, to jump higher. Naga people must come together under the spirit and the platform of sport. Nagaland Olympic Association want to bring all section of Nagas to the platform of sport. Let us strengthen the cause of unity and oneness. Let us use sport to celebrate the exuberance, the energy and the vibrancy of Naga youth. Are you guys enjoying yourselves today? Yes. Good. So you went to the office of the Olympic Association and you saw how it's functioning, what are the facilities there. Then you went to uh, the Indira Gandhi Stadium, you saw the facilities. So that's one of the best sports facilities that uh, we have in Nagaland. After that, you have come, you went to Chakravolo. You knew who she was, right? So you got to see how archery is played today. So you know how tough that was, na? How hard it is to pull that bow, right? And how far the target is. So when you actually see it with your eyes, you tend to appreciate how hard it is, how difficult it is. So Chekrovolu was a former world champion, a former Olympian, and she has won more than 80 national and international medals. And she she didn't get to go to good schools like yours. She didn't have good facilities like you people roaming around in a nice bus in Kohima. She had to walk kilometers to school. You know, she didn't have money to buy a bow and arrow to train. But she worked hard. She really worked hard. So from that small village in Peg district, she has gone on to represent Nagaland, represent India at the highest levels of international competition. To the extent of representing India in the London Olympics. So her life exemplifies the fact that if you work hard, you can overcome any challenge. If you put in the hard work, you will surely achieve your ambition.
my favorite part of the tour was uh, the, the archery because we got to meet the living legend. The favorite part of the day was when I went to the CN office. I got a very good tour and meeting Abu and knowing all the things about how the government works. He really motivated us in many ways and he told us that uh, nothing is impossible if we try. And I'm very grateful for the Naglin Ongbik SGN for giving me this opportunity to take part in the forest good trip. I really enjoyed the time when I got to the same office and I got a really good tour of the house. And he said that if we work hard then we don't have to run after success but success will come after us. So that was what really spoke to me today.
करने के स्कोर के साथ लगातार
16 districts, more than 2,000 sports persons, 4,000 plus participants, 347 medals. It was indeed the biggest celebration of sport, a celebration of the ability of the young people of Nagaland. A successful Nagaland Olympic and Paralympic Games 2022. My name is Xiangji. Hi, my name is Zarini Zhou. I'm the captain of Women Basketball Woka. We have done extremely well. I am so happy for the players of Pack District and my humble wish is for them to excel even in the days to come. Tan man expectation gure ki wo bichi bal expect gure na tan na medals kam bichi juti ki na jo bichi kuch pa jana chahiye. This is my first experience and then ne jabra bichi jani chahiye. My experience here in Nagaland Olympics it was good and I've learned many techniques and all. So hoping for the best in the near near future. Bichi kuch pa jana chahiye. Bichi kuch pa. I participated in the basketball and me and my team have had a lot of experience. To be honest, we got a lot of exposure and it's all thanks to Nagaland Olympics. I'm very thank thankful for the organizer for organizing this uh, very Olympic association. And looking back to the first Nagaland Olympics, in a positive way, much more things have been done again. As a team manager, is I'm so excited with full of new things and hoping for the best even in the days to come. Thank you, Nagaland Olympics Association. Thank, thank you, Nagaland Olympics. Nagaland Olympics, thank you, sir. Hello, this was sir. In the coming years, we will be in the next few months. We will be in the next few months. Thank you, Nagaland Olympic Association. Do continue to uplift the sports person of our state. Do continue to render your support, your love for the upliftment of sports and the sports fraternity of our state. Thank you so much.
Nagaland is a contributing member of the Indian Olympic fraternity. Today, the ambition of the Nagaland Olympic Association is to follow the Olympic principles of Sitius, Fortius, Altius. The ambition to run faster, to get stronger, to jump higher. Naga people must come together under the spirit and the platform of sport. Nagaland Olympic Association want to bring all sections of Nagas to the platform of sport. Let us strengthen the cause of unity and oneness. Let us use sport to celebrate the exuberance, the energy and the vibrancy of Naga youth. Are you guys enjoying yourselves today? Yes, sir. Good. So you went to the office of the Olympic Association and you saw how it's functioning, what are the facilities there. Then you went to uh, the Indira Gandhi Stadium, you saw the facilities. So that's one of the best sports facilities that uh, we have in Nagaland. After that, you have come, you met Chekrovolo. You knew who she was, right? So you got to see how archery is played today. So you know how tough that was, na? How hard it is to pull that bow, right? And how far the target is. So when you actually see it with your eyes, you tend to appreciate how hard it is, how difficult it is. So Chekrovolu was a former world champion, a former Olympian, and she has won more than 80 national and international medals. And she, she didn't get to go to good schools like yours. She didn't have good facilities like you people roaming around in a nice bus in Kohima. She had to walk kilometers to school. You know, she didn't have money to buy a bow and arrow to train, but she worked hard. She really worked hard. So from that small village in Peg district, she has gone on to represent Nagaland, represent India at the highest levels of international competition. To the extent of representing India in the London Olympics. So her life exemplifies the fact that if you work hard, you can overcome any challenge. If you put in the hard work, you will surely achieve your ambition.
my favorite part of the tour was uh, the, the archery because we got to meet the living legend. The favorite part of the day was when I went to the CM office. I got a very good tour and meeting Abu and knowing all the things about how the government works. He really motivated us in many ways and he told us that uh, nothing is impossible if we try. And I'm very grateful for the Naglin Ombik SGN for giving me this opportunity to take part and for the trip. I really enjoyed the time when I got to the same office and I got a really good tour of the house. And he said that if we work hard then we don't have to run after success but success will come after us. So that was what really spoke to me today.
Olympic and Paralympic Games 2024, we have more than 6,000 participants comprising of the athletes, officials, technical officials, delegates, para-athletes, performers, artists, volunteers.
16 districts, more than 2,000 sportspersons, 4,000 plus participants, 347 medals. It was indeed the biggest celebration of sport, a celebration of the ability of the young people of Nagaland. A successful Nagaland Olympic and Paralympic Games 2022. My name is Shangjir. Hi, my name is Nzari Nizo. I'm the captain of Women Basketball Woka. We have done extremely well. I am so happy for the players of Pack District. And my humble wish is for them to excel even in the days to come. Tan man expectation kuregi wo bishi bal expect kuri na tan na medals kam bishi juti ke na shi to bishi kuchh paise na shi. This is my first experience and then nee debra bishi jani shi. My experience here in Nagaland Olympics it was good and I've learned many techniques and all. So hoping for the best in the near near future. Bishi kuchh paise, bishi kuchh bra kini shi. No tin sadhi bhi kuchh paise aro. अलग डिस्ट्रिक्ट पर नितुन ऑफिशियल्स का मुझे मिली जिन्हें वो था कि जी कुरियर दो बच्चे एक्सपीरियंस हुए ना कॉल लंबी पाल दाई किसे दिस टाइम पे सदी कंबी माम भावा लोग पाई शे आरा सर कंबी माम बहुत ठीक रही शे आई पार्टिसिपेट इन द बास्केटबॉल एंड मी एंड माय टीम हैव हैड अ लॉट ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस टू I'm very thank thankful for the organizer for organizing this uh, very Olympic association. And looking back to the first Nagaland Olympics, in a positive way, much more things have been done again. As a team manager, is I'm so excited with full of new things and hoping for the best even in the days to come. Thank you, Nagaland Olympics Association. Thank you, Nagaland Olympics. Nagaland Olympics, it's it things, sir. Our this was, sir. In the coming years, to live in the world, we have to be able to do it. We have to be able to do it. We have to be able to do it. Thank you, Nagaland Olympic Association. Do continue to uplift the sports person of our state. Do continue to render your support, your love for the upliftment of sports and the sports fraternity of our state. Thank you so much.
Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are back here once again uh, and uh, this critical contest between uh, Nagaland and Mizoram is underway. The frame attacking uh, in their signature red and white. Uh, one end, of course, is Mizoram. Uh, and the multi colors uh, is none other than Nagaland. The home side, the proud hosts of the third Northeast Games. However, into the Nets lost his balance early on. Spike there. That point will go to Nagaland. The Nagaland now moves on to five. Goes around, still restricted to four. Not really the cleanest of serves. Crushes one onto the net. Makes it five. Four. This looks like a comedy of errors. So far, one serve after the other crashing onto the net. It's expected that uh, better serves, better serves are in fact expected to take the set stage. And at this time, he manages to go over the net but smashes that out of the box. Six all. Nagaland six, Mizoram six. Both the teams will like to get one clean serve at least. In position, it's a little play. The second touch looks good. And that's an incredible header. Nagaland desperate to keep that in play. And uh, spike attempted, block executed. Mizoram will have the point this time. 7-6 in favour of Mizoram. That's how you do that. Once again, just to be clear, Mizoram leading by a solitary point with 7. However, the Nagaland is if Mizoram fails to keep that in contention. That's 7-7 seven, seven at the moment. Mizoram 7, Nagaland 7. They're doing pretty decent here. Pretty feisty, a pretty fast and furious start to this game. And that is another incredible block there by Mizoram. It's 8 7 in their favor. Excellent uh, follow up. Brilliant spike in the making, but then equally Mizoram coming forward with a block that would count. That's how you get things done, that's how you get the job done. Serve. Trying to keep the ball in play. That was kind of mandatory. It's second touch. He wanted to keep it pretty regular, pretty simple for himself. But by the time he could get underneath the ball, the ball went away from him. And uh, like the desperation of the bicycle kick, he ended up smashing it onto the net. Eventually helping over a point to Nagaland. And that should be another point for Nagaland. That's Nagaland 9, Mizoram 7. Another incredible positioning, incredible spike. And now Nagaland inching closer to bagging the set. Here comes Nagaland with the serve. Clean serve. Keeps it in control. There comes the spike. However, Nagaland does well to defend. Desperation creeping in. That's cheeky. Hit it in very gently. And that spike would count. It's 10-7 for Navaland now. Slowly and steadily, 
They are within touching distance of bagging the set in their favour. Incredible stuff. This is a brilliant start. And they continue to lead the charts. Nagaland keeps it under control. Spike comes in, deflection along the way. 12 7. Nagaland keeps on extending their lead here. Mizoram trailing at the moment. Not really keeping things in perspective, not really able to figure out a way forward. That's how we're so powered. One point then head over to Muzorov now. Went out of the box, so it's 12 8. Both the teams trying to make it pretty close. The game started off on a slightly shaky, a slightly even Stevens note there, but then as we came close up, it all changed. And that's a brilliant serve. That's shaky. That is exactly what Mizoram was attempting. That will be one point to Mizoram. Didn't really power that too hard. There wasn't much that Nagaland could have done. They were kind of entrenched to that position. But then it's another point here for Mizoram. It's 12-10 now. And the serve for Mizoram as well. again. Block was done, yes, but the block didn't generate enough power for the ball to bobble up. Rolled underneath the net. And as a result, another point. The Mizoram, 13-10 at the moment. Nagaland will have to figure out a way here. about figuring out ways they get that point they get that all important point it looks like the current score here is 14 30. it's extremely close and extremely tight so for Mizoram into the nets uh, that's the 15 point for Nagaland we're expecting to do better and it looks like Mizoram has lent them a hand of a 15, 13, and it's going to be a change of sides. Brilliant start here for Nagaland, led comfortably there by number 16. It is first set goes to Nagaland. For Mizoram, though, once again, like Manipur, they have started trailing the first match with like by Manipur. Have to wait for champions pan out here in the second set. Where are we headed? Big time machine. Oh.
we are back uh, in action once again. Absolutely uh, misconstructed, miscued. One point here in favor of Nagaland. They've got the start, they've got that first set as well. They win this uh, set, then they win this regular as well. Into the next equalizer for Mizora. Um, so one all. Sorb, however, will head over to Mizora. Land, made a hash of that, first that is brilliant from Mizoram. Number six has been a constant pillar of brilliance to them, and they continue to deliver the payload. He continues to be the beacon of hope. Here comes the spike, neatly executed. That's the second point for Mizoram as well. In fact, that's the third point for Mizoram. Apologies. 3 1 now in favor of them. Nagaland. We started off on a note where they've usually not really kind of forgotten the dominion that they got in the first set. And that spike didn't really work out in their favor got too much on top of the ball and then laddered it onto the net, making it 4-1 in favour of Mizoram. This is exactly how Mizoram fought their way back against Manipur as well for losing in that final game. Oh, that's brilliant. Superb block from Navaland. That's a point for them. It's 4-2 now. Talk about incredible athleticism. Talk about incredible agility and flexibility. Nagaland is doing well. This is their house. They want to walk away. Oh, in fact, that was cheeky. This is exactly how or what Mizoram has tried to do. Keep things very tender during that serve. And this has worked wonders for them. into the net. They won't help their cause at all. Another point for Mizoram at 6-2. They have a 4 points cushion. How quickly can they make it to the 15 point mark? That was another clean and neat serve. That should be 7 for Mizoram. Nagaland trying to rally themselves, trying to keep the momentum, the spirits high in their dugout. And a spike attempt, it hasn't been clean enough, it has been of course. Nagaland will be happy to clinch a point here. They were kept silent for a while. They do well, they also do well to go. was a decent effort by Mizoram to try and keep that under control. It was too low. It was another brilliant work by Nagaland as they clinched their fourth point of the set. Excellent work indeed. Attempt. Excellent balance. Spike attempted. Block attempted. Ball stays afloat. That's a good round. Another spike this time. Executed to the team. Nagaland will win another point. Incredible fight back by the Nagaland boys. Trying to hit hard despite having a two goal, despite having a four point cushion. Now they have lost it to a two point cushion. So very difficult to control. Another point. Excellent. 
excellent turnaround there by Nagaland. This is why you can never write them off. They always are alert, are vigilant and likes to fight till the very end. Fight the spirit, the home team showing why they are one of the best. Into the net and now it's all fair and square. From 7-3, Nagaland has made it 7-7. Talk about remaining in the hunt, talk about the fiery spirit. This is what uh, it's all about for Nagaland. And that will, may have touched the net along the way, but that was inside the box. The 8 7 for Nagaland and Mizoram under some serious trouble. It's been a while, they have logged their last point. Cruising at one point in time. And it looks like, uh, once again, they've considered one more. It's 9-7 now in favour of Nagaland. From cruising at jet speed. They're now sinking here. As Nagaland keeps on inching closer to the finish line. They're well in position. This time though, they'll have to check whether that was on the line or not. In fact, it looks, looks like it's on the... 10 points for Nagaland. What a brilliant turnaround. What a brilliant fight back. Fascinating, absolutely fascinating from the home side. That's how you get it done. And this time he fails to control it. Finally, a point here for uh, Mizoram after a long ordeal. Can this be the turning point that they were looking forward to? of desperation creeping in that point will go in the bag of Nagaland 11-8 four away from clinching this set clinching this regular so for Mizoram desperation and done well in fact and that's a brilliant work there by Mizoram. They'll clinch the point on that occasion. It's so cheeky, I reckon. And in fact, there is a question mark. Looks like the point has been allotted to Nagaland. It's going to be 12-8. Not 11-9, 12-8 is what Nagaland will have. Because Mizoram must have touched the net. You cannot touch the net with any other part. Possibly when you're trying to do a spike, then that bottom part of your leg, yes, it can be touched, but it was not to be. This time you overpowered that. That should be 12, 9. So we'll have to wait and watch. We'll have to wait and watch. It is a point given to Mizoram. In fact, it's 12, 9. An electric contest in the making. Went out another point here for Nagaland this time. 39. Two points away from clinching this regu. In uh, once again, at one point in time from 7 3 down the way, Nagaland had turned it on its head. This is brilliant. Questions asked, and that is a very clean spike. That should be thought for 10. I'm still trying to fight, fight as much as they can. The most obvious question is, can they still keep things in perspective? No, they have handed over another point to Nagaland. Overpowered that serve. One point away from clinching this rego. It's tough now. Very tough at the moment. Can they fight back? They cannot concede. Powered. Another point for Mizoram. It's 14 11. It goes on. Is there a link to risk of fate? Is there something dramatic about to unfold? It is. They're 
comes to Spike and neatly executed. That's the 15th point that they were looking for and they have clinched the Regu. That formal introduction, that's the second Regu, which means, that's the second set, which means the first Regu goes in favor of Nagaland. Mizoram has been completely outplayed. They're heading towards their second defeat, possibly if they continue to do in this way. They have time, and this will be the make or break Rego, to be honest. We are about to witness uh, the second Rego in action. Ready by Nagaland as they clinch that opening point. Incredible stuff. They have been calling uh, the shots throughout this game. Sets up for the spike. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Another point for Nagaland. Picture perfect. Executing it to the T then. for them as well. That uh, is a very extravagant serve. One point for Mizoram as well. Almost ballooned it out of the court. And another excellent uh, spike there. Likely, if I'm not too mistaken, it was a roll spike to be honest. Into the nets, another point is around with 3 2. Well done. Headed to the opposite half, however, wanted to go for that acrobatic attempt, 
ended up playing it outside. Another point for Nagaland, 4-2. Oh, oh, that brilliant spike, but get on the game. Really with the power. Oh, that's a lovely block. That's a sensational block for Mizoram. They will walk away with this point. 4 3. Spike was on, but Mizoram, the way they blocked it, the way the ball positioned, the ball landed out there, it wasn't going to be easy. For Nagaland to get it back in play. Spike attempted, sensational block is it? We'll have to wait and watch. In all likelihood, that point has gone in favour of. Uh, we're not exactly sure. That Nagaland has been awarded the point, and that will be a point for Mizoram because Nagaland has crashed it onto the net. It's 5-4. Spike attempted. That was the third touch. That's gone way beyond control. Pulled a dozen points for Nagaland. It's 6-4. Lower for Mizoram despite the fact that they are fighting. They are fighting hard enough. Being served. Second touch. Wanted to keep that in play. It does remain. Headed. Headed brilliantly. Right through the gap with the two players. 6 5. Mizoram will be delighted. That's how you fight. That's how you keep on. Uh, Challenging, keep on probing your opposition. Touch. Spike attempted, brilliantly kept in. Cheeky. That's a good run of play. Another spike, another block there. This point, however, will go to Nagaland. Because the block had to cross the net. It didn't. 7 5 in favor of Nagaland and Mizoram. Off in a very clumsy position. Every time they get back in the game, look like Nagaland will assist them with a helping hand. Noble power so which means it's 7 6. Mm, again, a brilliant serve. That was a powerful one. Left Mizoram knocking on the doors, took the living lights, knocked the living daylights out of him. Went on to hit his gut there. Seven on. Spike is it. Oh, that's brilliant. That is sensational. That's going to be a point for Mizoram. And out of nowhere, Mizoram has come back knocking in this game. Perhaps the incredible bravery you would like to watch. Oh, Mizoram keeps on surging ahead. That's a number nine. Headed exactly in the gap. There wasn't any Nagaland players in the mix. And looks like the game from another court has spilled over to this one. Oh, excellent. Sensational. That was a side volley. And what beauty to execute that. Mizoram, what a terrific turnaround there. 10-7.
current is on text. On test rather. The spike. We have to wait and watch whether that was inside. Slight is around. They have backed that last set in their favor. That's another overpowered shot. That should ideally be the second point. Trying to figure out. Yes, sir. Oh, that was brilliant from Nagaland. In fact, the last set that went to Mizoram, they fought their way back. Nagaland clinch this one or else this red can will be the favorite of Mizoram which means we'll head over to the final break as well. That was an overpowered hit. going to be a change of sides up. Clinch that uh, first regu, yes. Mizoram, they're back again. That went out of the net. So that'll be a point for uh, Mizoram there. That smash. Another point in Mizoram's way, in Mizoram's favor.
apologies about uh, the rare hiatus there. It was uh, slightly a bit of technical glitch there. Now that we are back. And that was another sensational block there by Mizoram, unfortunately, that landed in their own half at set. Points aren't exactly clear here. That's again brilliant from Nagaland. It was their captain with the serve. <laughs> At the moment, Nagaland is trying to get as many points as they can. That's a second catch. Here comes a sensational spike. Was very very well played didn't allow the opposition didn't allow anyone to get in place to try and block that another quick breather We are once again back in the contest. We are once again back where it all started, the epicenter of all the drama and thrill. the lead. So now there's one set in the second Drago. Here comes a lovely side volley and the spike but into the net. Could have done better than that. That's point number eight for Nagaland. Crashed almost, to be honest. Another serve. Oh, touch. Brilliant. 
Indian Spike. 8 7. This contest is going out nowhere. It's exactly where it was. Both the teams fighting with all their might, with all their glory, with all their pomp as well. So, wanted to keep that in plain. Keep that in play, in fact, and Mizoram will walk away with the point in that occasion. going on there uh, with the arbitrator looks like the Mizoram has clinched this uh, red wall together is it not particularly sure though so in favor of That's an excellent block, but in their own half, Nagaland will walk away with the point in that occasion. It's 10-7. Another point closer. Clinching the set. A bit of a touch, but that hasn't been the cleanest of collections. into their own net which makes it pretty easy 12 eight now in favor of Nagaland they are doing good enough oh that's brilliant he does that finally have another point in their tally 12 9 That was cheeky. That was absolutely cheeky. So cute that you can't help Nagaland get their 13th point. Then that should be the 11th point. send it back to the opposition half in the third touch itself you don't have a fourth touch that makes it 30 10 now in favor of Nagala. and this is going to be a point in favor of Mizoram it's 13 11 excellent work to be honest That was overpowered. Should be 13. 13. All square and fear here. Both the teams. Third touch remains in control. That's a lovely run of play. Again, spike attempted, spike executed. That should be the 14th point for Nagaland. Now 
one step closer. Question is, uh, looks like Mizoram will make it all square and fair as well. And uh, we are in a discussion, sir. Awaiting clarity. As soon as we get it, uh, we'll let you know.
coming. Spike on lock. That was cheeky. That was very cheeky. Headed in the gap itself. That's what you would expect. Sensational block there from uh, Mizoram keeping themselves in play. Straight away onto the chest. It's too quick for him. Almost rushing at jet speed. And into the next step. Collision altogether. Brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant from Lavaland as the points keep on piling up in their favor. Go! 
stock, to be honest. It's 5 7 now. Again, rises over the top of the net and goes for that side volley. One of the most acrobatic moves you would see in this game. The nine point for Mizoram then lost that first rego. But this one, it looked to be brilliant touch. Into the net, another point for Mizoram. 10 5 in their favor. Brilliant block, 12-5. Oh, is it? Is it? Is it? We, we have to wait and watch. Definitely sure about this one. Excellent work again. 13 uh, 5 now in favor of Mizoram. That's how good they have been. That's how brilliant they have been. Served now in favor of Navada. Navada and Zama was fizzled away completely in the set there. Brilliant again from Mizoram. That's 40 point. One more point, and they will have. In fact, they do have the set in the bag, which means oh, the advantage Mizoram when uh, they come forward with that final set. Possibly the next set. Nagaland will have to stay alive.
guys enjoying yourselves today? Yes, sir. Good. So you went to the office of the Olympic Association and you saw how it's functioning, what are the facilities there. Then you went to uh, the Indira Gandhi Stadium, you saw the facilities. So that's one of the best sports facilities that uh, we have in Nagaland. After that, you have come, you went to Chakravolo. You knew who she was, right? So you got to see how archery is played today. So you know how tough that was, na? How hard it is to pull that bow, right? And how far the target is. So when you actually see it with your eyes, you tend to appreciate how hard it is, how difficult it is. So Chekrovolu was a former world champion, a former Olympian, and she has won more than 80 national and international medals. And she, she didn't get to go to good schools like yours. She didn't have good facilities like you people roaming around in a nice bus in Kohima. She had to walk kilometers to school. You know, she didn't have money to buy a bow and arrow to train. But she worked hard. She really worked hard. So from that small village in Peg district, she has gone on to represent Nagaland, represent India at the highest levels of international competition. To the extent of representing India in the London Olympics. So her life exemplifies the fact that if you work hard, you can overcome any challenge. If you put in the hard work, you will surely achieve your ambition. My favorite part of the tour was uh, the, the archery because we got to meet the living legend. The favorite part of the day was when I went to the CN office. I got a very good tour and meeting Abu and knowing all the things about how the government works. He really motivated us in many ways and he told us that uh, nothing is impossible if we try. And I'm very grateful for the Naglin Ombik SG for giving me this opportunity to take part in for a school trip. I really enjoyed the time when I got to the same office and I got a really good tour after her. And he said that if we work hard then we don't have to run after success but success will come after us. So that was what really spoke to me today.
Dublin's across different venues of the state capital. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor and a privilege for me to be a part of this historic moment, which not only celebrates the spirit of sport, but also showcases the rich culture of the Northeast. To bear witness to the glittery commencement of the Northeast Olympic Games 2022, In Loyo competition, respecting and abiding by the rules that govern them. In a true spirit of fair play, without doping, cheating or any form of discrimination. I'm winning the gold medal for our land is Nekitule Pelho. He jumped a distance of 7.09 meters. Single 1500 meters. Nian Sai T with the timing of 5 minutes 18.03 seconds.